If I have the honor of being president, I promise you I will lead. Joe Biden closes in on his vice presidential pick. This is your 2020 fix. Biden has set an August 1st target date for picking his running mate in the 2020 election. And as we close in on that date, we're learning about candidates who are being vetted, candidates who are dropping out, and candidates who are showing increased interest in the job. Biden has said he will pick a woman, which significantly shrinks the list of possibilities. And I commit that I will, in fact, appoint a, I'll pick a woman to be vice president. Amy Klobuchar, the Minnesota senator who ran against Biden in the 2020 primaries, has said that she will not be participating in the process. On the other hand, Karen Bass, a congresswoman from California, is now being vetted by the Biden campaign, adding to the list of possibilities. The addition of Bass comes as many, including Klobuchar, are urging Biden to pick a diverse running mate, particularly a woman of color. Kamala Harris has been the odds-on favorite from the start of the VP process, and that hasn't changed today. Joe Biden is on the ballot in 2020. One candidate who Biden allies remain optimistic about, but doesn't add racial diversity to the ticket, would be Elizabeth Warren, who many believe could help the party unite the Bernie Sanders wing with the more pragmatic, more moderate wing of the party. One candidate who seems to have come on in recent weeks is Congresswoman Val Demings of Florida. While others on the list have prosecutorial experience, she was the police chief in Orlando. Another diverse pick who has risen on the list is Keisha Lance Bottoms, the Atlanta mayor. She's earned plaudits for her response to the Black Lives Matter protests. Another emerging pick is Susan Rice, the former national security advisor from the Obama administration, who at one point was in line to become secretary of state. There's only one candidate on our list who's a Latina, and that's New Mexico Governor Michelle Lujan Grisham. Biden has done better than Hillary Clinton across the board in early polls of the 2020 general election, but some of them show one key area in which he lags behind Clinton is actually support among Hispanic voters. What we know about all the candidates that I've mentioned is that all of them are actually being vetted by the Biden campaign, which is a significant indicator that they're in the mix for this role. At the same time, this is a process that can shift over time. The considerations that the Biden campaign has today may not be the same as the ones they have in a month's time or closer to the Democratic convention when the pick will be due.